So in this video, I wanted to do a comprehensive explainer of Schmidt's refills. I really like the products this company makes, but I found everything online to be rather confusing and disjointed. So I wanted to make this video to make things a little bit more clear. I'll be covering some of the more popular refills, but definitely, definitely not everything they make. So I want to start out this off with the Easy Flow 9000. This is a Parker G2 style refill, which is uh, about as universal as refills come. It is a hybrid ballpoint ink, so hybrid ink. It's sold in a medium, a fine, and a broad. Uh, if you want to upgrade your Parker G2 style pen, so like a Parker Jotter or something like that, or even a, a Road Shrink 600, this is a great choice. I love the Easy Flow. I recommend it all the time. The M is the right choice for day-to-day -day use. I really like the broad, and that is right here, Easy Flow 9000B. And here you can see it in a Quebeco Sport, which accepts a Parker G2 style refill. Next up, we have this. This is the Schmidt P900B. The P900 is the true ballpoint style refill. So this is like a ballpoint oil-based ink. Also sold in a medium, a, a fine, and a broad. This is the broad. So if you want that old school ballpoint feel, then you want the P900. Next up, we have the rollerball style refills. And this is when I think the line really gets confusing. Here's the most popular choice in here. This is the P8127. So the first thing to note with this line is that last number. That is the size of the ceramic ball at the end, the size of the tip you're writing with. So this is a seven, which means it's a 0.7 millimeter refill. It's also sold in the 8126, which is a 0.6 millimeter, and the 8120, uh, it's not a zero millimeter, but it's a 1.0 millimeter. And again, that is just the tip size. Now, if you look at these two, this is a 8120, and this is an 8127, but with the P in front of it. And what the P is, is it means it's a shorter refill. So you have to be careful when you're buying these, but you may buy the 8127 when you really needed the P8127. And essentially the difference between the two is that the P is the short, that's uh, 10 centimeters, where the 8126, 8120, whatever, without the P is 11 centimeters long. Almost all the time when you're making this purchase, you will want the P. The shorter one, even though it looks weird, as in the front looks weird, it is a very similar length to the Parker G2 style refills. They're not quite interchangeable, but they're pretty close. For example, this P8127 short will fit in this Caveco Sport. That's a really popular switch. Even though this pen is designed for a Parker G2 style refill, it will accept it and the spring will work. Everything's perfect fit. If you go ahead and look at the 8127 without the P, or the 8120 in this case, it is much longer, obviously will not fit. The applications for the non-P refills are fairly limited and I'm still honestly looking around for some pens that use them. Just wanted to get into the pens for a second and kind of talk that through. Uh, so this is a power tank. Power tank looks like it would use a long. So I would love to put this 8120 in the power tank, but even though the length is correct, the power tank has a very wide aperture here. So that will not work. The pen just, uh, the tip just rattles around in there. So not a fit, save yourself. I like the power tank, but save yourself five bucks and don't buy it. This uh, power, I forgot what this one's called. This Energel Tradio Rollerball. Uh, this accepts a full style, like a Mont Blanc Euro Rollerball refill, but it will not fit the 
8126 or 8127. And that's because another thing I wanted to bring up, and that is that this cartridge has a very large diameter. If you look at it relative to the refill in this Energel, in this case it's the Energel alloy, they are almost identical in length, or at least close enough that uh, you could put a little piece on the end here and get them to be the same length. That would be a very easy mod. But the, the problem is that uh, it's hard to make out, but the 8126, 8127, 8120, and even the P's are a wider diameter than a standard refill. And when I say that, I mean a standard Euro G2 or a standard, this is called the LR refill. So these guys are surprisingly wide in diameter. I think it's uh, six millimeters. So they will not fit in a lot of pens that would otherwise accommodate the size. So you put it in here and it actually fits. You can see it's a very tight fit, but it does fit and it stops at the end. Something here is preventing it. And on the front, again, it doesn't make it through. Even though the tip almost fits, it just is not a fit. Get to this refill, it looks to be the same size. Perfect fit. And it, that's the same thing with Tradio. The body where it tapers, it just gets too thin for the Schmidt. So that extra millimeter or whatever it is, uh, means this refill for, will not fit in a lot of bodies that you think might accept it. Again, including a wider diameter pen like this. It ha has a lot of diameter, it should accept it, it won't. And then you get into other things like, uh, you know, like uh, F701 or something, like that, and that's not even close. It doesn't anywhere near the uh, width to accommodate this refill. Uh, one place where I have found that it works really well is in this Lamy. I believe it's called the Swift. And if you open this up, I'm using it now with a 8127. Uh, and you have all you have to do for to get this to fit is put a little shim in the back. And that shim is, I just use the piece that comes with the pen. You put it in here. And now this will get the P8127 and make it a, a good length to replace one of those extremely large Lamy refills. In this case, I cut it a little too short, but if I had cut it properly, it would be right there and it would look great. But Lamy Swift, nice option. Other pens that you think might accommodate it was they also use a Lamy rollerball. So like the Lamy 2000 rollerball or the Lamy Safari rollerball, Neither of them will work because they have a body that is too narrow at the front. It tapers down, so it will not accommodate the extra width of this shoulder right here. Uh, even if you were to shave down the plastic, you would get to this metal and it's just not right. So I didn't mean to talk so long about the 8120262627, but when you're buying these, save yourself from heartache and make sure you know what you're getting. Almost always you'll want the P. If you have a higher end European pen, like a Cartier or something like that, uh, I don't have any of those, but I'm told those will fit. I've read that a Rotring will fit, but I have a Rotring 600 rollerball and it will not fit with this pen. So maybe a different Rotring, I'm not really sure. And then, uh, so that'll be the end of the information part of this. If you want to watch me do some writing with these, we could hop in right now. So uh, first off, we'll start with the, this is the Easy Flow 9000B. And now we have the Eight one two seven. And again, this is the point seven. 
millimeter, which I would call an M, but Lamy doesn't, uh, sorry, Schmidt doesn't make that differentiation. Uh, now, just for the sake of this, I'll write here, and this is the easy flow 9,000. Some of these refills are new, so if they drag a little bit, that's why. And now we have the 8120. And then, just for kicks, this will be a little hard, but this is the P900. B. So what do we see here? We see ballpoint. You can see it's kind of uh, less saturated. Color, it doesn't pop as much. You see some distinct ballpoint characteristics when you're writing. But again, that thing will write on pretty much anything short of glass. Then we see the 8120 with that 1.0 millimeter broad, uh, putting down a really thick line and a lot of ink. The Easy Flow 9000B is similar. I don't think it's quite as generous with the ink, but it's really close. Then we have the Easy Flow, uh, sorry, well, then we have the 8127 and the 0.7 millimeter, which is a really great day to day ink. Then we have the Easy Flow 9000M. Uh, it clearly broke up a little bit here, but that one's brand new. It probably just needs a little bit of writing. I haven't found that pen to skip very often. And again, that's another great pen for day-to-day -day use. I am missing the uh, 8126, which is a 0.6 millimeter, uh, but you get the point. So yeah, just to wrap this up, uh, this covered a lot of ground, but if you're buying, buying a Schmidt refill, you pretty much want an EasyFlow 9000, M or P8127. Those are the prime day-to-day -day inks. Obviously, uh, there's the broads out there, the 8120 or the P8120 and the P900 and some other ones, but these are the main ones if you're looking for a great day-to-day -day hybrid. So if you have any questions, leave them below. I hope this helped a little bit. Thanks for watching.